want to make sure you're holding it off centered. And um, like with, with, with Robo, for example, uh, he's he's usually gripping it in the center. Right in the Chinese acrobats all right in the middle. Right, exactly. With co contact meter especially, but with puppy hammer because it's so long, you, you do not have the torque or the control to hold it in the middle. So I, I, I'm sort of developing this reputation as a, a Nazi, K-N-R-T, The knots are everything. They're, they're, they're positioned where they are for innumerable reasons. And when it comes to contact, it's like, um, here, let me just show you really quick. I, I want you to pay attention to, like, so like, everything I do, like right now I've got a, a handle knot, right? See how, see how my shoulder knot hits my shoulder? Yeah. And then if I do a neck roll with it, it comes around, and now I have it here. See that? Mm -hmm. So it's like basically when you're doing contact stuff with these, you're you're constantly tracking at least two handles all the time. And and it's it's like super, super important that you're 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 very conscious of which handle you have control over and which one's gonna be the next one that you're gonna have control over and you just sort of walk around on the, on the hammer. Like, and it's cool, it's sort of like, uh, I don't know, I think of like steer wheel. You know how people going steer? They, they, they use the frames, so they'll like, they'll, they'll, they'll have a pose and they'll be doing something and, and going around and then like the next frame comes around and they're in a different pose, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's kind of like that, like the, the, the art of it, the game in, involved in contact puppy hammer is like, walking around artfully on these knots. But without the knots, it, it's very, very difficult very quickly. You can get lost really quick. Not to say it's impossible, but the knots really do help a lot with control. So it's a good place to start. They're like training wheels, maybe. I don't know. But, um, so. So you, you slide any on your rope? You slide. Yeah, I never hold the rope anywhere but on the handles. You know, like, like, like it's it's always yeah. I might grab here, but it's in an attempt to get the handle on. You know, I'm, I'm I'm sliding, so like I might grab it and then slide, you know. Oh, okay. Or I might grab this knot. It's it's, it's very Like it's all, it's always, it's always the point of control. I'm always looking for that next handle. Okay, so let's talk about handles. Everybody, get up. And low down is where the knot starts. Okay, this, this get, it, basically when you stretch it out, they should they should be at the pivot point of your shoulders. Does that make sense? So, like for you, here's your clavicle. I'd probably do this. And <laughs> Wait, did you ever break that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that a so, well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> yeah. One, you. one side jumps out things. more. Damn. Damn. I think I messed up on my mouth, sir. I'll have to retire later. I don't have any more. Sorry. The other thing though is you have really big arms, uh -huh. like they're really broad, and so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think honestly, it might be alright. You, you're you're really no, they're broad, not that big. And, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Right. Yeah, oh, and cool. you got a mark here. Yeah, <laughs> okay. If you want, uh, to build momentum without it getting in the way. And this is what I want to do right now, it's called digging. Um, you always want to have everything under tension. You never want to have a loose section because if you have a loose section, when you let go, it's going to go point and it's going to go crazy. So if you watch me here, can we dance that way a little bit? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you guys see how right now I've got a poi and a longish poi, right? So this is like the primary zig position. This enables you to build up lots of momentum without 
co without like compromising the tension of the of any part of the puppy hammer. This pinky side out, thumb side out, and if you spin towards the boy side, so like I'm gonna just whip it around, whip some momentum, and then you just start digging. Like that. I want everybody to try doing this, rotating your body in the direction that it's spinning, and see if you can get it into split time. So what that means is every time the long end goes in front of you, the short end should be just passing in, inside your belly button, like towards your tummy. So if you watch, pass, pass, sit up, one side's out, one side's out. It helps to hold. Okay, so you have your shoulder knot that you're holding with your with your, your trailing arm, meaning the one you're turning away from. You have the handle knot, pinky side out, with your leading arm, the one you're turning yeah. towards, right? And there's a moment where it looks just like this, okay? So you're, you're like this, this hand's up, this hand's down, and this is going under your armpit. This is, is out straight, and, and it's making this little structure right here. So if you watch, right there. You see that? This is a good extension. It's like you stop for one circle. Everybody kind of see what I'm talking about. Here and then you start. Yeah, it's just a very subtle. <laughs> and it takes practice. Okay. But the bottom hand doesn't have to stay horizontal. It's going to be pushed down. Right. I mean, I use my hand <coughs> too. I like I, I don't even hold it. I just I go like this. Like once you once you start to really lock into the the motions of it, you barely hold on to the thing. You're just you're just using your fingers to like. Make sure it doesn't, you know, go flying, and you're just you're just sort of gliding it around your body with, without gripping it. There's very little energy going into it. Side out, holding the handle knot, right? You're going to turn towards the poi side, so that dictates the direction. There you go. That dictates the direction. Okay. Is everybody, is everybody clear on that? And what this is, this is a Lots of momentum in that, it, it, and and it's there's and a lot of control. The ends. I'm sorry. You're switching the ends. Yes. So so that's the first thing. I, that's the exercise I want to go over quickly. Um, Nikki, can you go grab a staff, please? Thank you. What? Oh, whose is it? Can I use it? Sweet. All right. This is the fastest way to learn. You? No, the other. Those are mine. Nikki, you want to help with that? Okay. So, is it okay if we use all six of these? Sweet. So, you know, the thumb, thumb, and then thumb, thumb, and then switch. Okay, so, um, I want you to do it with the staff first because it'll just save everybody a whole lot of trouble. Um, basically, the, what we're going to do is you're going to have a direction you're turning. Like, um, for me, it's to my right. Usually, this is my good direction. So, I'm going to have my leading hand. That's the hand that is on the side that I would look towards, right, this is my trailing hand. So my leading hand is gonna grab palm up, thumb out on the the shoulder knot on that side. So that would be like, here's my guy, this shoulder knot, the leading side shoulder knot. Leading hand grabs it, thumb side out, palm up like this, okay? So I'm gonna start. And the other hand, doesn't really matter, but I start, thumbs pointing, so it's gonna be calm down, thumb going in the same direction. You're going to bring it up over your head, and you're just going to hold it with your leading arm, okay? It's going to come around, and it's going to get to the point where you're like, ah, you know? You grab thumb side out, okay? The opposite shoulder knot. So I was here, going around. It went over my head. There's my shoulder knot. I grab it. I'm gonna grab it right here, okay? And once you grab it, you're, you're in a, an intermediate position here, okay? And this is the important part. It goes over your head, you grab it, and then right here, you get to reset this hand. So you, you roll it all the way around, and now you're back thumb side out. Let go, reset, let go, reset. One hand always stays on one knot. Wow. You see that? This hand is never switching. It's always in the same position. Okay? 
So I want everybody to pass this map around, and I want you to, I want you to like close your eyes and turn in a direction that you're comfortable with. You know, I want you, you gotta really. It's like snowboarding or hooping, you know, there's the good direction, we may as well start there. I know everybody says that you gotta fight that, but... <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be... You have to learn to breathe. For some reason, Nikki, you... I know you say you're breathing, but when you say you're, you get out of breath, it's because I, I'm sure of it. I see it all the time. I, I'm, I'm, there's something about it. When you're doing contact puppy hammer, you hold your breath. I don't know why. Everybody seems to hold their breath when they're doing it. I, yeah, it's weird. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you gotta, you gotta remember to breathe. So, so just like you know, roll up your hammer in one hand, and we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the turning thingy, you know, like like this, right? And I want you to focus on keeping your center of gravity down low, hips squared, right? And pick a spot, the orange tent, right? Look at it. Like go, uh, yeah, like hold on to the shorter side though. So, so I'm hanging on to the shorter side and just sort of hang on. So for a crucifix pirouette, I'm going to do, um, uh, let's just start in the beginning. Okay. Right, so opposite shoulder knot, opposite knee knot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let go with uh, the shoulder knot, let it go behind you. Okay. Right. Perfect, thank you.